let's discuss briefly the histology of the pancreatic endocrine islets. Especially in contrast to the prevailing exocrine portion of pancreas. The exocrine part is made of serous epithelial cells that are organized in uh, structures called serous assigni. A singular form of this word will be asinus. So these are basophilic cells that are specialized for producing proteins. Okay. With the zymogenic granules here and central asinal cells come from the intercalated ducts here. So that will be the the exocrine one of the many exo exocrine serous sinus the cells are strongly basophilic in contrast to these we can find the the endocrine islets of various size the cells are um, smaller and they are organized into trabecular epithelium. The trabecular epithelium forms trabecules that are branching and estimosing with each other in a complex 3D pattern. In the spaces among the trabecular trabecules there are blood sinusoids that are collecting the hormones. So it's a complicated 3D structure here. And inside we got we got these capillaries, the blood sinusoids. So the whole structure is called uh, islet of Langerhans or pancreatic endocrine islet. There is an eponym, islets of Langerhans. They are made of trabecular epithelium. There are blood sinusoids among the trabecule. Fenestrated capillaries. And there are various cell types here. The most frequent being the B or beta cells, but let's start according to the alphabet with the A cells. The A cells occur mostly on the periphery of the islet. They form like 20% A or alpha cells approximately 20% of the population of the of the islet and they are producing a hormone called glucagon the most numerous are the B cells these are just artificial colors okay just to not the, not the real colors in the in the real slide the B cells occupy mostly the center of the islet. These are the most numerous cells there, representing 
uh, representing approximately 70% B or beta cells, 70% of the whole population of the, of, of the um, islets, and they are producing a hormone called insulin. Then we got uh, D or delta cells. Cells. Uh, they produce a somatostatin, which is a tissue hormone that by paracrine mechanisms inhibits both the B as well as the A cells. The word paracrine in this context uh, means that uh, the, ho the target cells are very close to the source cell of the hormone. It doesn't have to circulate th through the whole body to reach the cells. The tissue hormone is uh, finding the target cells in the neighborhood, in the, in the tissue context. And very rare are the F cells. Like only one percent, F cells or P P cells, one percent approximately, they produce pancreatic polypeptide. function of these hormones will be more closely explained in your physiology classes.